Hello and welcome to Design360. I'm Fanula Sweeney. You join me at Wilton House near Salisbury, England, the family seat of the 18th Earl of Pembroke. On this edition of the programme, hunters and collectors, those who seek out rare, valuable and sometimes odd items, whether for future financial gain or personal pleasure. But first, Iranian-born billionaire David Khalili and Russian oil tycoon Viktor Vexelberg both share a passion for heritage and have used their considerable wealth to amass collections for others to enjoy. From one of the world's most famous and romantic to the world's largest known collection of Islamic art. David Khalili has been amassing objects since he was 17. His collection, accumulated from 50 countries, now totals 20,000 pieces. It contains items from priceless Qurans to ceramics and vases. I'll tell you something, uh, once you are born a collector, you die as a collector. And collecting is something that you never give up, because once you start on that road, there is no end. You only finish when you no longer breathe. Collecting is only part of his mission to educate and share are equally important. I believe not only in collecting, because that's only the first step, is collecting, conserving, researching, publishing, and exhibiting that makes the whole phenomenon something that's become a tool of appreciation for people. Because if people don't have access to books, if they don't have access visually to see the objects, if you don't have the responsibility of restoring them and conserving them, that you are doing it half-heartedly. Khalili puts his whole heart into his collection, documenting the art and holding countless exhibitions. He insists he's not an owner, but a guardian. We consider ourselves a temporary custodians of these objects, because at the end of the day, the time span of my life, compared to the lifespan of these objects, is dropping the ocean. <laughs> 